GP. February 25th, 9.47 a.m. District Court, Defendant Lobby, number two. This is the Defendant Lobby, all right. But there's no defendant. I've been trying to reach Lana all morning. Where could she be? And where's Emma, for that matter? It almost seems as if... Something's been happening behind the scenes. Oh! Edgeworth! Knowing you, you've already figured it out. Who the owner of the 77777777 ID number is, that is. Well, I have a pretty strong hunch. Looks like I'm not the only one who's figured it out. You know, the only reason this trial didn't reach a verdict yesterday is because there was still room for doubt regarding this ID record. If that number does belong to who you suspect, then no doubt will remain. After all, he hasn't been officially charged with anything. True. Not yet. In any event, once all doubt has been removed from that list, I can call for a ruling. Five minutes right, and Chief Prosecutor Sky will be found guilty. But she didn't do it! I figured you'd say as much. That's why I came here, to hear what you have to say. This is the first time he's ever done something like this. Lana's hiding something, and the only way we'll ever know the truth is to draw it out of her. The truth. Everything goes back to the SL9 incident. Don't be stupid. Today's the last day of the trial. We don't have time to reminisce about the past. That depends on you. If she's found guilty, you'll lose your only chance to find out what really happened. I'll think about it. See you in court, right? This is it. If I'm ever going to find out what Chief Gant has on her, it's now. February 25th, 10 a.m. District Court, courtroom number 9. Court is now in session for the trial of Miss Lana Sky. The defense is ready, Your Honor. The prosecution is ready, Your Honor. Hmm. <laughs> oh God. There's a bug on my my little mug thing. Oh. Oh. Hmm. Yeah. I, I thankfully wasn't in the coffee. Jesus. Fuck. Ooh. <clears throat> Sorry about that. <clears throat> Normally, this is when the prosecution puts forth its opening statement. Uh. But before that, the police chief has reports to me. Chief Gant. Hello. Is he fucking phased in? <laughs> <laughs> Morning, folks! How's everyone doing? Hey, OG! Been back to the pool yet? No, no, I've been drowning enough as it is in my work. <laughs> That's a good one. Don't think I could top that. If you don't mind me asking, Chief, exactly what is this proposal of yours? Mm. Lana, that is to say, the defendant, has asked me if she could speak directly to the court. Uh-oh. She wants to do what? Having heard what she intends to say, I feel she should be granted her request. In the end... It should save everyone a lot of time and trouble. What's this all about, Defendant? I'd like to just make one simple request, and I'll be finished. Well then, what's your request? Your Honor, I'd like you to put an immediate end to this- <gasps> Huh? I confess to all charges against me. On February 21st of this year, I murdered Detective Bruce Goodman. In the underground parking lot of the prosecutor's office. No! Oh, no. Lana! Objection! You can't! Your Honor, the defendant's claim does not change the defense's plea. In that case, Mr. Wright, I no longer require your services. Too late! But Lana! Your Honor, I hereby forfeit my right to an attorney. Mm. The prosecution may lack direct evidence against me, but it has sufficiently proven its case 
through testimony and circumstantial evidence. I would like you to render your verdict now, if you please. Hmm. Well, the defendant certainly has the right to self-representation. Her request is legally valid, although this is an unprecedented situation. Indeed, it appears that there is no further need to continue this trial. Even if Mr. Wright may feel otherwise. This can't be happening! We were so close! Mm. It appears that the time for the verdict has arrived. This court finds the defendant... Objection! Oh. One moment, Your Honor. Uh, Mr. Edgeworth? The prosecution has not yet proven the defendant guilty beyond reasonable doubt. Any ruling at this stage would be certainly premature. Come now, Worthy. I understand this is a bit difficult for you, but why don't you just be a good little boy and keep your mouth shut, hmm? You motherfucker. Hmm. <laughs> I don't think I care for your tone, Chief Gant. What? Creating oh. another fabrication to cover up your past mistakes. Sorry, but I'm no longer na the naive little boy you thought you have me be. <sighs> With this sudden confession from the defendant, it's obvious to me some kind of deal was struck behind the scenes. Some kind of deal, hmm? Not everyone operates as you do, Worthy. Hmm. I thought so. Your Honor, the prosecution would like to change its first witness. Oh? To whom? As its first witness, the prosecution would like to call... Miss Emma Skye. I request the court hears her testimony. Hold it! Hold it! <laughs> Actually, no, it'd be more like, hold it. Mr. Edgeworth, I am exercising my right to self-representation. I don't think we need to continue... I don't care what you think, Miss Sky. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> Literally, take this L, Miss Skye. Miss <laughs> the exposure of truth sometimes results in tragedy. However, no matter how tragic the truth may be, it would be an even greater tragedy to avert one's eyes from it. Very well. The court shall grant the prosecution request. That's okay with you, right, Chief Gant? Worthy. You'll live to regret this. Mark my words. So, Miss Emma Sky, please take the stand. Looks like Edgeworth has decided to take the horse by the reins. My goodness. <laughs> ah. Now then, witness, please state your name and occupation. Uh, um, my, my, my name is Emma. H Emma Sky. My occupation? I'm Lana's little sister, and I want to be a scientific investigator. Two years ago, you encountered the serial killer Joe Dark of the Joe Dark Killings. Is this correct? Y yes. I I'm trying my hardest to forget about that, though. I'm sorry, but I'm afraid I'm going to have to ask you to recall those events one more time. Mr. Edgeworth, please remember the trial concerned the murder of Detective Goodman. Is an incident that was resolved two years ago really all that relevant? Yes, it most certainly is. Hmm. Hmm. But, well, okay then. He sure gave in fast. Now, please testify about what happened to you two years ago. The trip to yesteryear has finally begun. It's bound to lead to the truth behind this trial. Ooh, two years ago. I was waiting in my sister's office that day. A man came running in and took me hostage. Neil Marshall rescued me. But I'll never forget what I saw in that instant. The man raised up his knife and stabbed Mr. Marshall in the chest. It's a good thing you weren't harmed. I passed out. I don't remember much. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. That's understandable. However, please tell me, Mr. Edgeworth. What does this testimony have to do with De Detective Goodman's murder? Mm. 
That will soon become apparent, Your Honor. You've got to admire him for his courage, considering he has no evidence. Very well. The defense may begin its cross-examination. Okay. We really have to cross-examine Emma? Yep. Two years ago. Let's see. Uh, I was waiting in my sister's office that day. A man came running in and took me hostage. Neil Marshall rescued me, but I'll never forget what I saw in that instant. Can you tell us about that? Mr. Marshall jumped on dark. Just then, the lights went out. The lights? It was just about this time of year. There was a terrible storm going on, and l lightning struck by. So the electricity went out. Wait a minute. If it was pitch dark in that room, you shouldn't have been able to see anything, right? Right, but just then lightning flashed again outside. That sudden flash left an unforgettable image of the scene in my mind. I see. I told the detective about what I saw then. The detective? Yes, uh, Detective Goodman. He was in charge of the case. Detective Bruce Goodman. The victim. So you spoke with Detective Goodman about this two years ago? Uh, yes, that's what's so scary about this trial. And you told Detective Goodman about what you saw? Yes, but at the time, the words just wouldn't come out. That's why I drew a picture. A picture? Yes, I think she mentioned that before. Well, Mr. Wright, have you heard enough? This picture the witness drew, I believe it has a very important meaning. But the list of evidence I was given two years ago didn't contain a picture. Wait, what? Wait, wait, what? Wait a minute. Wait. I... <gasps> oh! A picture is drawn on the back of this evidence list in Magic Marker. I've got a very bad feeling about this. Oh. Okay. It's literally like the Mia trial all over again. Yeah, basically. There's something behind a piece of paper, always. Witness, would you mind if we added the statement to your testimony? Yes, Your Honor. I drew a picture of that scene once, but it seems to have been lost. No, Objection! it is not. Mr. Edgeworth, this little girl put all her heart into a drawing that into drawing that picture. And yet, you would insist on denying its existence? <laughs> hey, I'm not the bad guy! All I'm saying is, is that as a prosecutor for that case, I was in handed such a picture! That may well be. But that doesn't mean it doesn't exist. Behold! This is the evidence list for the SL9 incident? Mm hmm. Please, turn it over, Your Honor. Turn it over? Whoa! What's this? A giraffe! Yes, what is that? Hey! That's it! That's the picture I drew! Indeed. Two men appear to be wrestling over here. What's the meaning of this? What are you doing with that list? Me? Only the prosecutor in charge should have access to that list. Huh? These lists, they're... they're different from the each other. What? It would appear, Mr. Atworth, that the evidence list you were handled two years ago was incomplete. These two lists fit together to form one. And you can see the marks here where they were torn apart from each other. So you see, Mr. Edgeworth, it's quite obvious what happened. Two years ago, only half of the evidence in that case had ever reached you. What? What?! Order, order! But Miss Guy, why did you draw your picture on the back of this such an important list? 
Because that's what Detective Goodman handed me in the questioning room, Your Honor. Wait a minute. If this list was torn in half, then that means... Your Honor! Well, are you alright, Mr. Wright? Your eyes are hint... Hold bulging with your head. Oh, sorry. Let me put them back a second. Ah! Oh, <laughs> you imagine they actually just shrank? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh! My goodness. If the evidence list was torn in half, then these... Wait. Then there might be more of the drawing on the back of Mr. Edgeworth's list. <gasps> yes, that's quite con conceivable, Mr. Edgeworth. It's possible... let's see... Oh! Looks like I'm a fucking idiot! I didn't turn over my list! Mmm! Uh -oh. Maybe I should have learned my lesson from fucking two months ago! Hmm! <laughs> Actually, no, not even two months ago. That was like, all the way back, what? like, bo after <laughs> August. <laughs> yeah. Holy shit! Well, yeah, that was in September! Oh my god, Edgeworth! <laughs> Edgeworth never learned his lesson from September, bro! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! L it's possible. Let's see. I mm. mm. <laughs> are you constipated? <laughs> no, Your Honor. Uh, is something wrong? Do you even have to ask? I feel like Edgeworth needs a change of underwear. I feel like everyone's constipated in this courtroom. <laughs> Sorry, Your Honor. <laughs> so quick. There is indeed something drawn on the back of my list. It's that... that... THING! Oh. Uh, wait, what? Oh. <gasps> no! That... that's... the thing! The thing was dancing in the evidence room. Clearly, this is... this act of vandalism is the work of a certain chief of detectives. I guess he was out of scrap paper. Evidence list restored and updated in the court record. Oh my god. <laughs> Very well. Witness, will you please testify about this picture you drew two years ago? Huh? Oh, uh, yes, Your Honor. Uh, sir, Your Honor. What's wrong with Emma? She seemed to be thinking about something when she was looking at the picture. Hmm. Emma's picture. This picture I drew two years ago. The flash of lightning was so bright, all I could see were shadows. After that, I must have fainted. It was like that one game, Persona 4, oh when god. I saw shadows. Oh my god. <laughs> this picture shows exactly what I saw in the instant. Okay. To think of such a flash of lightning could burn such an image in your mind. Thanks to that, though, she was able to show us exactly what she saw. Mm -mm -mm. Well, I don't see any con contradictions here. This clearly shows that Joe Dark about a murder prosecutor Neil Marshall. Mm. The defense now be may begin this cross examination. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, this picture I drew two years ago. Flash of lightning. After that, I must have fainted. This picture shows exactly what I saw in the instant. Sorry for asking so many times, but are you sure you drew exactly what you saw? Of course, this is, this is the exact scene. It wasn't influenced in any way from your talks with the detectives. Objection. Are you insinuating we somehow manipulated her memory, Mr. Wright? No, no, of course not. I'd better watch out, or he might find some way to cut my salary. <laughs> I did this picture before I heard anything from the detectives. So I don't think anyone's story would have influenced me. Mr. Wright? Is there something that's bothering you about this picture? Huh? Oh! <laughs> well... Hmm. That's strange. She claims this is exactly the scene that was imprinted in her mind. And yet, there's clearly a contradiction here. Wait. Wait. Is that supposed to be the knife? Wait a second! The tip! Yeah, it's but, like fucking squared. But how do we... 
How do we show that? Uh, the broken one. Do we just show the switchblade knife? Because it kind of matches it, but like it was found in his body, remember? Yeah, so where's the tip? Oh, I hope I don't get a penalty for this. Fuck! Oh, Damn no! It. <laughs> no! That's what I'm uh. saying! I'm really confused! How do I show that? Uh, uh, what about the other picture? You mean this or no? I mean the what other picture? Actually, wait, yeah, that picture. Are you sure? I believe so. Uh, I kind of want to save. Yeah, save, save, save. Okay, I'm saving. I'm saving. This better be it. No. No. Nope. Oh, what the hell? Uh... Maybe the shield? Maybe? Uh, nope. Nope, damn it. Okay. okay, there's something wrong here. Okay, we might not have the evidence we need to do this. Press on her on every statement. Okay. Did you draw this picture right after the incident? Uh... Um... I think I drew it two or three days later. At first, I was in such a state of shock that I couldn't do anything. During that time, the investigation team was reorganized. Detective Goodman was placed in charge, under the direction of Damon Gant and Lana Sky. Two or three days later, the memory should still have been fresh in her mind. Excuse me, witness. But can you please tell us why this picture is painted all black? Flash of lightning was so bright I could s all I could see were shadows. So at the time, you didn't even know it was Mr. Marshall who had come to your rescue. Uh, no, I couldn't see him clearly. The lightning was so bright, and I was knocked to the floor. You were knocked to the floor? Dark had a tight grip on me, but when Mr. Marshall jumped on him, I was knocked away. I turned around, and that's when the lightning flashed. Poor Emma. I'm just glad she wasn't hurt. What happened after the lightning flashed? I must have fainted. You mean, you didn't see the actual murder take place? Wait, do we still have the tip? I uh, no, I'm sorry. I don't think we do. No, we don't. I don't think we do. No, we don't. Oh damn it! I thought we had that. No. That was updated. N no. I think the switchblade knife itself was updated. I don't think. Wait! The autopsy report! Wait. Stabbed in the back. Died from a punctured heart and lung. Knife tip was in the... W wait. Yeah, like... The flash of lightning only drove off the darkness for a split second. Not only that, but the trauma of the situation understandably caused the witness to faint. Do you really need to torture this girl any further? Oh, okay, shut up. What? Edward. Hey, I'm not the bad guy here! <laughs> they actually exchanged that. Lol. Uh, anyway, this picture... This picture shows exactly what I saw in the instant. Yeah, the autopsy report, because... The thing was already in his body! You better be right. I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but this picture the witness drew contains a blatant contradiction. What? But I still remember it just like it was yesterday. Mr. Wright, perhaps it would be faster if you simply pointed out this contradiction for us. What part of the picture contradicts the autopsy report? Well, for first, the knife is fucking blocked. The contradiction, of course, lies here. Take a look at the knife the man is holding. 
If you look closely, you can see its tip is broken. Mm -mm -mm. You do not have to look closely to see that, Mr. Wright. But Mr. Wright, look at the evidence! See the murder weapon? Its tip is broken too! If I recall, the tip of the knife was found broken off in the victim's body. It was an inclusive piece of evidence that proved Joe Dark was the murderer. Mm-mm. I'm afraid it's not so simple, Emma. Objection! And where, pray tell, could you possibly see a problem? It's obvious, really. The victim suffered a single stab wound to the back. If the victim was only stabbed once, then the murder weapon should not yet be broken. Oh! What's the meaning of this? Perhaps the knife was broken beforehand. Sorry, but I'm afraid that's not possible. The tip of the knife was found inside the victim's body. If it was broken beforehand, it couldn't possibly wind up there. That's right. But what does this mean? The tip of the knife was undeniably discovered within the victim's body. The only possible explanation is the witness's memory is mistaken. That's but no why ample I into that, remember? That's why I asked her so many times if she was sure she remembered correctly. I believe you were annoyed at the time. But she was sure she remembered correctly. But there's no other way to explain this inconsistency. Objection! Not so fast, Mr. Edgeworth. There is another explanation. Have you forgotten already? About that little something called falsified evidence? Oh, you're treading on thin ice, right? All I'm saying is that this broken knife tip might be the piece of evidence that was forged. <gasps> you can't deny the possibility. No. Ah! Wait, so wait, hold on. I was 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 he murdered before then? That might be it. Holy shit! I think that might have been it. Order, order, order! Are you saying the investigation really was corrupted? Your Honor, please allow me to once again go over the events that took place on the day of the murder. The police department and the prosecutor's office were holding a ceremony that day. After receiving the King of Prosecutors award at the ceremony, Neil Marshall questioned Joe Dark along with Damon Gant. During his questioning, Joe Dark fled the room. Prosecutor Marshall chased after him and was killed by Dark. It is my belief that somewhere in the story there is a lie. Hmm. I... I'm not lying. The man really was holding up a broken knife. Hmm. If that's true, then there's no other way around it. This could not have been the actual murder weapon. Uh, there must have been another broken knife. What are the chances of there being two bro oh, two broken knives? Yeah, I think I know one. 100%, Your Honor. Another broken knife, besides Joe Dark's. Could there have been one? Yes. There is another one. If the witness... Is this adamant about the accuracy of what she saw? It can't just be explained away by a simple observational error. Mr. Wright. In that instant, Emma really did see a broken knife. I assume that. Then you, that you have some information about this other broken knife? If so, feel free to enlighten us. The murder weapon was already broken prior to the murder. There's only one way. Take a look at this. Here's the real murder weapon. Yeah, the little picture. The answer lies in the past. Two years in the past. Right here, inside this picture. This is a picture... Oh, 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 I thought that was right. This <laughs> is a picture of the award ceremony. Ah! What is it, Mr. Edgeworth? Uh, it's the... The broken murder weapon. Notice the award Prosecutor Marshall is holding. That's... a broken knife! 
As we earlier concluded, the knife in the drawing was not Joe Dark's knife. That being the case, the knife the witness saw was all was in all likelihood from this award. Order, order, order. Neil Marshall was awarded the King of Prosecutors that day. As an award, he was given this broken shield and knife. When he chased after Joe Dark, he pulled out this knife. Being a prosecutor, he did not carry a pistol. This broken knife was the only weapon he had in this dangerous situation. Objection! But that... that can't be! Oh, and why not, Mr. Edgeworth? Because of the King I of... I carry a pistol! <laughs> oh my god. Because of the King <laughs> of Prosecutors' award knife was the murder weapon, then the murderer and the victim would be reversed. What do you mean? I mean... This man raising a knife would have... Would have been prosecuted Neil Marshall. Oh. Oh! <gasps> Wait, oh! That makes more sense! But the prosecutor was the one who actually died. That's true. What's going on here? Hmm. <laughs> it seems Mr. Wright has been a bit too eager to jump onto conclusions. Hold it! Wait! I... I remember now! I remember everything! What is? Mr. Edgeworth! What is it? Could you show me your evidence list again, please? His list? The one with that picture scribbled on the back? I knew it! This picture... I'm the one who drew it. What? You drew that? That's right. The list wasn't torn in half at the time I drew this picture. Uh... Wait, what? Uh... At this time, I've been trying so hard to forget. I must have locked this part away deep inside me. Perhaps it would be best if we added this to the witness testimony. Would you please tell us what you recalled in Miss Sky? Yes, Your Honor. First the knife mix up and now the blue badger? What the fuck is going on? This should be interesting. But What is going on? Wait, no, sorry. This took place two years ago. The blue badger wouldn't have existed yet. Wait, how do you wait, did they actually say that? Gumshoe said something about that, if I remember. Did oh yeah, it was recent! Yeah, wait a minute. Was allegedly dance? Oh, well, it doesn't say it here, but if I was to... Okay, no. Okay, that's a bit bogus, but all right, we're going to go with that. Freaking... Yeah, it, it's recently new. That's so, the thing that we, we were told about. So that can't be the Blue Badger. It's yeah. got It's got to be something else, then. This should be interesting. You've reached the end of the video, but hold it! You should try clicking the subscribe button. It'll make sure that you don't miss any uploads that we do in the near future.